What if I told you we are on the verge of creating a world with no shortage of food? Let's find out how. At the lab of a Malaysian BioNexus status company called Hexagon Green. By using a tissue sample from a plant, it is possible to make genetic copies or clones of the same plant. First, tissues are extracted from the source plant. The leaves and other parts are removed since they are not needed to make a clone. The tissue is cut into many pieces and sterilized in alcohol to clean them of other DNA and contaminants. Each piece can be used to grow a complete plant. They are placed in a glucose gel that will be changed once a month. The tissues will be kept or incubated in this way for nine months. During incubation, the tissue is placed in a liquid solution and stirred continuously. This is to create more shoots or roots, which can then be used to make even more clones. After being incubated for nine months, the tissues form plantlets and are ready to be shipped or sold. The plantlets must undergo one more stage before they can become fully grown plants. They must be planted in a new medium, which is made up of a combination of clean moss, charcoal and water. To do this, the plantlets are first soaked in a mixture of water, soluble fertilizer and theorem. Theorem is an ectoparasiticide, which means it prevents fungal diseases in seeds and crops. It also acts as an animal repellent. The plantlets are then separated into containers before being placed in its own community pot. Through these steps, the plantlets eventually become any number of fully grown plants, which are genetically identical to one another and carry the same characteristics. These techniques can also be used on virtually any type of plant. Imagine fields of plants that are exactly the same as one another. We can create complete fields of robust, disease-free crops from just one healthy plant. This is Biotechnology, building the future today.